Down in the kitchen Places, places, gather your places Throw on your dress and put on your dog faces Everyone thinks that we're perfect Please don't let them look through the curtains Picture, picture, smile for the picture Pose with your brother, won't you be the sister? Everyone thinks that we're perfect Please don't let them look through the
She's not coming. You're wrong. She's here. But what about your wish? My wish? If you become human, you can reveal your secret to no one. You will face suffering and loneliness. Is this truly what you want? After becoming a god, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self on her first day as a human being. The me you see before you now is that divinity, and the human counterpart I left behind, I named Farina. She could feel joy, sorrow, and everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited, or as meek and vulnerable as she wished. Her strengths were of a kind only a human could possess, as were her shortcomings. But in my eyes, Farina's humanity was what made her perfect. She was perfectly human in every way, the person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. All part of the plan, of course. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? The Hydra Archon, alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydra Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die, but nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. Instead, she was forced to take the stage in the Opera House, to embrace the role of leading lady, to forever play the part of the god from the prophecy, all to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now you probably understand why your court is called the Opera Epicles. But Farina is only human, isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. It must have been torture for her. It has indeed. And although she is, in a sense, me in human form, I most definitely owe her an apology for it. It's been five hundred years, and all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Please! Everyone! Anyone! Just listen to me! I swear, I really am your Archon! I'm <laughs> 
The fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. The plan to deceive the heavenly principles. I need you to play a role. That of the new Archon. Play as... a god. Keeper of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. It is a device created to kill the God of Justice. I had to outwit the Heavenly Principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, while saving everyone at the same time. The prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the Heavenly Principles.